<clears throat> All right, what's up everybody? Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me. We are gonna spend a little bit of time with this Cthulhu Mods 1928 Mouth to Lung RDA. So first things first, there is some airflow here across the front. I'm not sure the exact diameter or millimeters. I think this one is two millimeters. So that makes this one, I don't know, zero, one. It's a little bit of a pinhole. I like the second one over. If we're talking straight up good old fashioned mouth to lung, the second one. The second one over is my favorite one. And if you pop that top, you can see right there, that is where your airflow is going to be coming from. And there's only one. There's only one airflow hole on one side and your cap, your cap only has airflow going along one side as well. So you just line up one with the other, yeah, and you vape it. There are two little tabs on the deck. They're gonna line up with two little notches on the top cap. And for some reason they added two. So it is possible if you're not paying attention to put the cap on wrong and have your airflow facing where there is no airflow hole, but if you're paying attention and you see, oh, there's airflow, there's airflow, better line those up, then that's all you really have to worry about. So taking a look at this top cap, man, I can't stand this thing. I hate the way that this looks. I don't like this double swoop right here. I really dislike this drip tip. This drip tip is insanely comfortable to use, but I I hate it. I hate the way this looks, man. You got this swoop, and then it comes to a point, and then you have a second swoop that comes up to this point. Uh, can't stand it. Can't stand it, and I rock this actually without a drip tip at all. I think that looks so much better. Now on the inside of your 1928 RDA, you're gonna get all sorts of spare goodies and things as well. There's a whole manual and then you get, oh, look at this drip tip. This drip tip is insane. I have no idea why anybody would use this particular drip tip. Boom, yeah. Well, look at that. Would you just look at that? Would you just look at that? <laughs> that is, uh, that's a straight up ridiculous drip tip. Uh, if you're gonna be squonking, then then sure. You, you could probably use this. Uh, if you're gonna be dripping, you're gonna need an area to drip through, which is why I like to use it with no drip tip. But you do get some spare O-rings and some tools, and then there's your squonk pin right there that you can easily install. Let's take a quick look at it. So yeah, that's the squonk pin. If you want to install it, you can see at the top right there, there are two holes, and those are raised holes so that when you're squonking it, the juice is going to come out, it's gonna flood the deck, and it's going to suck it all back in through those holes. And those holes are set up high and it's going to leave the same amount of juice in your well every single time you squonk it, which I kind of think is like a, a good thing. Some people were saying that when you squonk it, yeah, it floods the whole deck, but it sucks a lot of the juice back, which it does, but because these are raised, it's always gonna level off the juice in your well with those holes. So no matter how much you squonk, it's always going to leave you with the same amount of liquid in your juice well. And I think that's a pretty cool thing, but we are gonna be dripping on this today. So yeah, now that we're taking a look at the deck, you can see it's kind of K-funny. There are uh, two screws on either side. You're gonna build a round wire build for this. I tried earlier building a uh, fused Clapton. I tried to installing, uh, tried installing in a coil turd fused Clapton from one of his wire sticks. And I was able to get one of the leads in, but it, it's a real, real tight fit. I wasn't able to make it work. So I kind of had to resort to round wire. I have a feeling round wire is what you're gonna be using on this RDA for the most part anyway. The Media Blasted deck does look very, very cool in my opinion, but Media Blasting, uh, you know, stainless steel like this in a deck adds just a little bit of resistance. It's obviously not going to be be like a deal breaker or anything. It's just something to be aware of. And then you can kind of see from the top view, you have these big wick holes. Your wicks are gonna go straight down in there and you're gonna kind of tuck them in just a little bit over here. This RDA also has a very nice, nice, deep, deep juice well. So when you're dripping, you can easily just kind of fill that whole thing up and it's still a dripper, but it kind of makes it become like a tiny, 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 tiny little RDTA. And for anyone curious, I'm using this on the Geek Vape. Aegis Mini. This is a 24 gauge Nichrome Anarchist round wire build. It's just a seven wrap on a three millimeter. That's kind of how I just have the coil set in there right now. I feel like three millimeter is about the biggest diameter coil that you could fit in here. You want to make sure you press it down towards the deck. You want to get it close to that airflow hole, but obviously you don't want it touching your deck. All I'm going to do right now is I'm going to grab some cotton bacon prime. And I'm just going to wick this real fast. So I pulled some cotton through the middle of the coil and because this juice 
juice well is so deep, I'm gonna leave just a little bit extra, like more than I would if this was just a normal RDA with a normal juice well. If this was a normal RDA with a normal juice well, I'd probably just cut it right here flush with the side and just tuck them down, but I'm gonna leave some length on there. Kinda just like that. And then pow, all you do is kinda tuck your wicks down just like that. That's, that's all there is, that's all there is to this. So I got my top cap without a drip tip. I'm gonna juice this up, I'm gonna put my top cap on. We are gonna get back out to normal view and we are going to mouth to lung vape this thing. So yeah, Cthulhu, mods, mouth to lung, 1928 RDA. I've been having, I've been having a real good time with this RDA. I was pleasantly, pleasantly surprised. I personally have not had a lot of luck with other mouth to lung RDAs that are out on the market. They are plentiful and they are kind of everywhere and they kind of all fall short. And when I took my first little toots on this, I built it, I wicked it, I put some juice, I adjusted the airflow and I took a couple mouth to lung toots and I was like, okay, finally, right? Somebody made a good mouth to lung RDA. So like you saw in the up close, this is 24 gauge uh, Nichrome Anarchist wire. I did a seven wrap on a three millimeter. It came out to a 0.71 and I've got it sitting at about 18 watts. I've got the airflow set to my favorite airflow, which I learned from the website is the 1.2 millimeter hole. There is a 0.8, a 1.2, a 1.6 and a two millimeter. And honestly, I can do a pretty comfortable mouth to lung on all of those airflow flow holes and with the two millimeter one you can actually do a little bit of a nice little restricted lung hit type of vape. This is loaded up with some six milligram uh, Muffin Man that I purchased from Liquid Barn and mixed together via Liquid Barn and I, I just love their liquids. I keep ordering stuff from them. So let's try out a two millimeter airflow hole restricted lung hit. It's nice. Feels rich, feels nice and saturated. The flavor on this is really good. It's not incredible, it's not amazing. A lot of people get really high expectations for certain types of vapes expecting like really intense flavor and when mouth to lung, that mouth to lung term gets kind of thrown around sometimes, people hear mouth to lung and instantly think, well, it's gonna have amazing flavor, right? That's not always the case. Thankfully, in this situation, it kind of is the case. I still, even though, even though they say this is the smallest chambered mouth to lung RDA on the market, I feel like there is still a lot of room in there that they could easily be getting rid of. A smaller chamber and a mouth to lung RDA is always going to produce better flavor. Again, don't get me wrong, the flavor is good, but there is some room for improvement in my opinion. And this has such a deep juice well, like I said in the up close, it almost becomes, it really reminds me of the original Pharaoh. Does anybody remember the original Pharaoh that Rip Trippers released? It was that single coil and it had a real deep juice well and it had, I mean, it was very similar to this particular atomizer, but on a bigger scale. This 1928 reminds me of like a scaled down version of that original Pharaoh. So even though I'm using this as a dripper, it is definitely not a bleh your juice in there. You do not just turn your bottle over and squeeze a bunch of juice in there. This is a dripper in the truest sense in that I just put a few drips, sometimes four, sometimes five, really never more than five drips at a time though because you do have the ability to actually make this thing leak if you just bleh your juice. The airflow is right underneath the coil. So if you just bleh like crazy, where's that juice gonna go? Straight out your airflow. It's happened to me multiple, multiple times. You just kind of have to be a little bit more careful when you're dripping. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. But that's it. Boom, roasted, that's all I need. And even when I take my very first toot on this after dripping, it's gonna be a little bit slurpy. But it's easy to vape through the slurpiness, the flavor is really nice, the vape quality that I get from this is really nice. I think that this 1928 is a pretty banging mouth to lung RDA, at least at least like in recent memory. And it is certainly my favorite mouth to lung RDA that I have used kind of 
thus far. I really haven't had this enjoyable of an experience with other mouth to lung RDAs. So let's get down to brass tacks here, right? Are you gonna need your vape budget hands if you wanna check out the Cthulhu mouth to lung 1928 RDA? Nah, not really. I mean, not at all. I know they're available on the Cthulhu mod site. I know they're on sale for about 20 bucks right now, which is, I mean, no vape budget hands needed in any capacity. In fact, that $20 price point is almost cheap enough. And I'm gonna just gonna go ahead and say it is cheap enough just to buy it, just to try it out. I've spent more than $20 at Taco Bell before. So that 20 bucks is either gonna get you Taco Bell or it's gonna get you a very serviceable, pretty well constructed, not flawless, but still really good mouth to lung RDA. Now, if we're gonna play the aliens game or the FDA game where they come and take everything I have and I have nothing left to vape at all, is the 1928 something I would seek out and buy at 20 bucks? Yeah, I mean, that's kind of a no brainer. It's a really good mouth to lung. Like I said, it's not perfect. There's a few little like weird little quirky things with it. There's a little bit of a learning curve as far as like squonking, as far as like dripping, as far as like, yeah, you can definitely over drip it and you can definitely make it leak. But if you're aware of what you're doing, if you know what's going on, you're going to get this and you're going to have, uh, I think you're going to have a fantastic mouth to lung vape experience with it. They also do make it a point on the website to say that it is compatible with Nick salts for some reason, but I don't know why anybody bothers saying that because I think every uh, device, every tank, every atomizer is compatible with Nick salts. I mean, it's just a liquid. These are designed to use liquids. So if one liquid works, then the other liquid is obviously going to work. I don't love Nick Salt. I much prefer like traditional nicotine, freebase nicotine in lower milligrams, like six and 12 for my mouth to lung. Now I'm just freaking rambling. But anyway, it is what it is. 1928 from Cthulhu Mods for those curious. 1928 was the original published date of The Call of Cthulhu, the HP Lovecraft novel, which has an insane cult following. Cthulhu Mods, Call of Cthulhu, 1928. It, it all makes sense. Anyway, that's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. And as always, let's keep on vaping. Vaping.